hello guys and welcome back to my channel like and subscribe to my channel hit the not notification bell and thanks for watching um i will be cooking these large round cheesy ravioli they're italian and the instructions on the back how to cook them but i already cooked them once before and so i'm going to go over here and get my um ragu cheesy sauce and i don't care black if you want to i got them black white I mean, no, I think black and gray socks. Oh, well, we're quarantined. Who's going to see me? <laughs> but anyway, um, I was cleaning up earlier. And so, um, excuse my stove. I don't care because um, I'm hungry right now. So, I have to stop getting something to eat because I am anemic, as you all know. So, I got this ragu uh, sauce right here. And it's Parmesan cheese. And I got the mess in blend, that part. So... I'm going to be um, adding these round uh, ravioles inside of here. Now, I had these once, and they are, they are so delicious. And um, you have to add your own sauces to it, you, however you like. Uh, you might want red sauce, I don't know, but today I will be using the Parmesan. And so, one by one, we're going to drop these in here. And this fills me up because I already had it before. I didn't use the whole bag. I used half of the bag last time. Half and half to test these out. Because sometimes you buy new products and they are so nasty. Or some type of food. You know what I'm saying? And so these are filled with uh, supposed to be cheese. And um, I think it's like uh, Italian uh, spices inside. Um look like parsley I really don't know but have the case is cheese inside so um stay tuned and uh you guys always remember to be safe wash your hands and stay inside peace okay now I'm going to be adding some shrimp um as well to this dish and I'm going to be taking the I don't like the uh, little back end of the shrimp so I'm going to be placing them on this aluminum foil and I'm going to be putting this in my oven um, the shrimp so I will be placing them on this aluminum foil right now one by one and um, after I do that, I'm going to be using um, the French bread, cutting it and buttering it up this as well. And so guys, um, all this is going to go into the oven while my um, cheesy raviolis are getting cooked on the stove. I'm sorry for the... Um, lighting right now because um i don't know if it's time to take it but, um so here, here's the bread that i will be cooking this bread costs a dollar at i think you said we'll go where i bought this um and i'm going to be seasoning the shrimp with seasoned salt and butter and also I'm just right now, I'm just cutting the, uh, the, the uh, thread to be sliced. And I'm going to open it and I'm going to put the butter on. So stay tuned.
So after that, I'm gonna go here, over here to these raviolis that I put. I put the uh, bread inside, so they're getting done. They're almost, and my lighting just went off again. I don't know what's going on, but sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna be dipping now the parmesan ravioli upon the um the brown cheesy raviolis. Um, stirring around a little bit and just barely. Leaving the uh, aisle on a uh, low because uh, you don't want to cook this too fast. It could burn and it gets sticky and stuck. So I'm just going to basically like keep stirring around. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to be talking on some and some as you can see I'm not talking. So um, keep watching. Hey guys, so I took out my French bread as you can see, and so the lighting is kind of off. I'm trying to work up to give me a new camera. I don't know what's going on. My lighting is going on and off. Anyway, so here's the shrimp. It's out of the oven. I'm going to be pouring the ravioli cheese, um, raviolis, um, into the aluminum foil so that I can mix it around, and um, I'm going to stick it back in the oven after I put the cheese blended cheese on top and yeah so what I did was I just put it in aluminum foil and oh my god this smells so delicious guys and so I'm gonna be uh, just mixing the shrimp and the ravioli right now on the ground and then I'm going to be grabbing the cheese and I'm gonna be pouring it, sprinkle it in high replication with me. I'm gonna pour it all over that. So this is something that I really came up with myself because um you know you can put cheese or any kind of pasta inside the oven and put the cheese on top of it, but I don't think nobody else could have ever done this. And if they, they did, I never thought. But um let me just um, creating something as well and sit down sometimes, great, whatever. You know, I think that's um, faster for me. This meal only took about um, 10 minutes, I believe. Um, so it's quick and easy as that. So look at this. It is so fire. I just took it out the oven and um, it's so freaking cheap. And it smells so bomb because that garlic and all that shrimp and cheese go together. And, mm, oh my god. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Remember to stay safe and please always wear your mask. Um, God bless and have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. And like and subscribe.